Dear students, welcome to the class of biology for class 9th and the topic for today's discussion is significance of meiosis. Dear students, if you remember in our previous lecture we had discussed about the whole process of meiosis and you know dear students that meiosis is basically composed of two processes that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and we had discussed all those steps involved in the process of meiosis very thoroughly and I hope and expect that you got all those points. Now coming towards the significance of meiosis first of all what is formation of gametes for sexual reproduction? Dear students, meiosis is very much essential for sexual reproduction. Dear students, if you remember I had told you earlier that meiosis only takes place in germ cells. And germ cell is basically responsible for sexual reproduction. So what is basically sexual reproduction? It is the type of reproduction in which fusion of male and female gametes takes place and it results into a zygote and then a zygote develops into a new organism. How this all takes place? Basically, the sexual reproduction takes place both in animals as well as in plants. Now coming towards the sexual reproduction, the formation of gametes in animals how does it takes place so in animals the parent cell which the parent cell with diploid number of chromosomes it undergoes meiosis parent cell with the parent cell with diploid number of chromosomes undergo meiosis to produce haploid gametes means that the parent cell will undergo meiosis and it will produce haploid gametes. Now these gametes are produced of two types. One is called male gamete and another one is called female gametes. So male gamete is called sperm. I will write it here. Male gamete is called sperm and female gamete is called ova. Now these two gametes and these two gametes will fuse together and it will form a zygote means that sperm and ova will fuse together and it will form a zygote this is a zygote then this zygote with diploid number undergoes mitosis many times this diploid this zygote will undergo mitosis means the process of mitosis will take place or it will occur in zygote and it will develop into a new diploid organism. So this is the whole process of formation of the meats for sexual reproduction in animals. Now coming towards this formation of the meats for sexual reproduction in plants. Dear students, in diploid plants here, in diploid plants, diploid means which has dual number which has two numbers like for haploid for haploid for haploid we say n while for diploid for diploid we say 2n so in diploid plants the spore mother cell the spore mother cell which is basically diploid number of chromosomes it will undergo meiosis to make haploid spores means the spore mother cell which is basically which has basically diploid number of chromosomes it will undergo meiosis and it will after going through meiosis it will make haploid spores it will make haploid spores then these spores grow into haploid structures and these haploid, haploid structures then produce haploid gametes means that these haploid spores will grow will grow into haploid structures and those haploid structures will produce haploid gametes by mitosis. After the formation of haploid gametes, 
the gametes combine to produce the diploid zygotes. Then these haploid gametes will combine and it will form a diploid zygote. This one. This is the diploid zygote. So how it will form? It will also form from these haploid gametes by the process of mitosis. And then this zygote, after the formation of this zygote, it will undergoes or it will undergoes many times into the process of mitosis means that mitosis process will occur in this zygote many times and it will produce ultimately diploid plant so this is basically dear students the whole process of formation of the means for sexual reproduction both in animals and as well as in plants so in short i will summarize the formation of the means for sexual reproduction both in animals and plants. In animals, dear students, parent cell with diploid number of chromosomes, it will undergo meiosis and it will produce haploid gametes. Then these gametes will fuse together to form a zygote, and then that zygote will undergo mitosis many times and it will develop into a new organism. While in case of plants, the mother cell spore, which is basically which has basically diploid number of chromosomes, it will undergo meiosis and it will form haploid gametes, haploid spore, which we basically called in plants. Then they will uh, fuse together and it will form a zygote, and then a zygote will go through the through the process of mitosis many times and it will produce into a diploid plant, which is basically a new organism in case of diploid plants. So this is the whole process of uh, formation of the means for sexual reproduction both in plants and animals. I hope and expect that you got all the points mentioned over here at the whiteboard and I will give you for homework this topic to go through this topic, learn it by heart. If you got any question, do share with me. Thank you for next lecture and Allah Hafiz.